Continues to be the epicenter of Georgia's outbreak. CBS 46's Patrick Quinn joins us live in Atlanta with a look at how the county is ramping up its vaccination efforts. Patrick. Fulton County certainly has been hit hard, but maybe some good news coming for Fulton County tomorrow right here at the health department. There will be a walk in clinic. We have not seen that through the course of the monkeypox outbreak. And if you look at the numbers of those hardest hit black men, they make up 80% of the county's cases. We talked with one of those tonight, Angelo Perry. He right now is still quarantined recovering. I was afraid. I, I cried every day. Angelo Perry is still quarantined in an Atlanta hotel after contracting monkeypox in mid-July. It was at the hospital where he started recording his plight on social media. This is day 19 of me being infected with the monkeypox virus. His sole purpose in showing his scabs and sharing his story is to keep others from contracting the virus. Really take precautions, get vaccinated, stay away from people until you are vaccinated because monkeypox is real and anyone can catch it. This week in Newton County, an elementary school student tested positive for monkeypox. In response, the county held a Q&A with worried parents. Do you see the virus getting to the point of closing down schools? Um, great question, and I do not see that as a necessity. Let's look at the numbers. There's just three confirmed cases to those under 17 years old in the state less than 1%. Instead, those especially vulnerable are black, part of the LGBTQ community, and are in Fulton County, where 55% of the state's cases reside. Obviously, you know, Fulton County has been very hard hit. Dr. David Holland said in the last week, Fulton County changed its technique of administering the vaccine to an intradermal method to get more shots in arms. It allows us to get more doses out of the, uh, out of the bottle. For Angelo, he's on the mend, hoping to return home and to work later this week. I just feel like there's going to be a lot of hostility toward me. I'm actually anticipating it, but I feel like it's for a good cause. And Angelo told me that he could get the green light from the health department to actually return home and go back to work starting on Friday. Meanwhile, Fulton County Health, they tell me that they have officially gotten confirmation from the feds that they will get a special allotment of vaccine doses in time for Atlanta Black Pride, which is Labor Day weekend. And speaking of the walk in clinic tomorrow, you still must qualify. And to that, you must be a man who has sex with men within the last couple weeks. We're live in Fulton County tonight. Patrick Quinn, CBS 46 News. Thank you, Patrick.